What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is a March Madness promo break, and 2021 Panini Elite Basketball just sold out. This is a four box break, Pikachu number one. And again, guys, 10% uh, off, so not only is it a promo break, and you got 10% off. So at the end of the break, we'll take all 30 customer names I bought in, randomize them, and customer name at number one gets a promo spot, which you have an opportunity to potentially win up to $5,000 in break credit. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't have been surprised being a Dodgers fan. It was either going to Texas potentially, back home, or staying with the Dodgers. I, I think it was one or the other. Everybody kind of knew it was going to be like going to Texas, following Corey, him being from Texas, or staying here in LA, for legacy wise. And Joel got last spot mojo. I mean, what do you get paid? Four million dollars? In baseball, it sounds like nothing. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he was the best hitter anyways, but I think his fielding has always been his strong suit. All right. Well, who knows? He might, he might retire next year. Maybe that's why he's like contemplating. Maybe I play one year, and if it doesn't work out here in LA, we don't win again or something. Then I retire, or maybe that's when I really will make that decision to leave LA and go to Texas or something. You know, I mean, he's not really on the younger side anymore. All right, so this is a four box break, so. Oh, that's how we should do it, though. So four boxes here. Four boxes here. And four boxes in the middle. All right? So as you can see right there, four boxes on each one. Now let's see. If I roll a one, two, we're going to go at the left. Three, four, middle. Five, six, right. Three. So one, two, three, four. We're going to go to the middle. So these are here will be for a future break, which I will repost right now. Question is, where is like Carlos Correa, Freddie Freeman, all these guys going? I feel like Carlos Correa is actually really going to leave, though, right? I feel like they were talking about Freddie Freeman really being between Yankees and, and, and going back to Atlanta, but I feel like Carlos Correa, is, I haven't been hearing too much chatter saying that he has an opportunity to potentially go back to Houston. He's been linked to going to a lot of different things. All right, so here we go, guys.
Good for you, Jazzy Jack. Packers are off the board in a uh, playbook. All right, guys. Good luck. Anthony Davis. Uh, Utah. Tatum's been on a tear lately. And Thomas Bryant, turn of the century autograph. To 149 for Washington. Cameron Payne for the Suns. What is the Suns? Arthur Peru. There you go, man. With Cam Payne. Yeah, I thought I had seen the Cubs potentially going after Korea. And Jalen sucks for them, uh, Magic. LeBron James purple spellbound to 49. And nice, Davion Mitchell. Oh, where's does Oliver have? Sacramento King. Arthur King does. Damn, I got Davion Mitchell, but it wasn't for Arthur. Uh, I don't know. Did I? Was it a base? I might have passed a base. I don't. I don't penny save top of all the LeBrons anymore. But they will obviously ship. So though. At least not a base one or that. So this chair seems like it's lower than that. I get confused, Jazzy J. What what teams do you claim to root for? To just for future knowledge. And I, we weren't talking about Korea going to the Yankees. We we're talking about Cubs or other teams. But I just I just want to clarify with you. What teams do you root for again? So that way I know for future reference. some points, career signing with the Dodgers. I mean, that's even worse bad blood. But at the end of the day, you know, it's business. Baseball. So, money talks for some of these players.
I need you to tell me what teams do you like, Jazzy J. I think that's the question I asked. <laughs> I think we all would like to know for future reference. All right, next box. B King, I was seeing potentially Chris Bryan teaming up with Bryce Harper and the Phillies. I don't know, man. I feel like there's going to be a lot of shuffling this year. At least that's what it seems like. Oh, can stop the channel with? Is that I think the air doesn't work properly in that room because the air comes through here. So, that's what I was saying. Sean Camp. Mike was saying uh, one of the Sorting tables can go in here. Yeah, you could. I'll say just my whole desk. You, yeah, or just put the desk here, and then that someone can technically sort there or have a computer there for some reason. I don't know. You can always figure it out. But I think he's going to do it. Yeah. Supersonic's going to Thunder Sean Manic. He was already talking to me about it. This far out. What's up? I know. Ooh, Burtons. 253. What? Did Joe say Donners? Uh, I have no clue. Okay, I need you to send me a box and a wrapper. Okay. Whenever I do it, yeah. Is there a post it there? I think there's a post it. And we have Devin Booker. Uh -huh. To 99. Ooh, Josh Giddy. I already pulled a one-on-one, -on -one, but always nice to still pull some number Josh Giddies. 36 out of It's always good to see a good rivalry though between Dodgers and and Giants though, like last year. It was really fun, you know, being a being a Dodgers fan. It's always good when your division is good. Put it that way is what I'm saying. And Kenny Smith for the Rockets. Andre Drummond. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Jazzy J, every team cheats. It's just not every team gets caught. Let's just be real. So... You know, let's, let's just let's just not play baseball again. Let's just cancel baseball, cancel football. Jazzy J, you can say you're a man of honesty and integrity, but unless it comes to your ladies. That's that is like most hypocritical thing I've ever seen I've ever heard. You cannot be trusted, Jazzy J.
Hey, what's up, Arthur? How are you, buddy? Put you some nice Phoenix stuff. Look at it. A little D book. What else did I hit you over here? Cavern Pain. Whoa. Wow, is this an autograph? Wow, it's the case hit. Next up, Josh Giddy. Look at that. Sean Maddock with the Thunder. Very nice. Jealous, Sean. Getting all these nice giddies. LeBron. Rex Chapman. Look at that, to 49, Arthur, with the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> Campaign. I, well, it, are both Barkley's redemptions? Because I remember, actually, I remember I did a Barkley one, and I, I remember I think I might have broken your heart. Remember? It was like a 76ers instead. I hate that. When they when it's like a redemption, and then they don't, like, list it like Topps does. Because then you get that, like, one second of, like, sheesh, that could be me or not. That could be me or it cannot be. We have Scotty Lewis. I have no idea how much that card goes for, but I'm sure there's some on eBay. And out of 10, Chumo Kiki. Gold. Looks like bronze, but a little gold. Arthur, whenever I go back to AZ next month, and I stop in Buckeye for like gas or something. I'm gonna have to meet you up, right? Are you still out there in Buckeye? I always stop right there uh, by the McDonald's in that plaza where like the uh, Little Caesars is at. The Dunkin' Donuts. I forget what street that's off of. Off the 10. Alright, good luck. Pen Pals, card number 29, James Bulknight, which I forget where James Bulknight's at. I need to look that up. I know I haven't I haven't been in A Z since like I don't even remember the last time I went, dude. Yep, Charlotte Hornets. Um at some point last year maybe late summer. I think that was the last time I was there. It's been a while, man. Now that baseball's back, I am I am trying to uh I'm trying to go for sure. Like now with spring training back, I definitely want to go. Um, you know, also visit my in-laws, you know, cause they're out there, but also <laughs> take advantage of them being out there. <laughs> oh, let's go, Tim. My, uh, my father-in-law works in Mesa. Works, uh, works at this, uh, company, uh, Pacific plastic technology. And those huge, like, warehouses next to the airport, off of the 202, uh, off of, uh, I forget the street it is. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to go one of these next few weekends, probably. 
just go for the weekend. Go like a Sunday, Monday, come back like Tuesday. I might just fly. But uh, yeah, my, my, my father-in-law works around there. They live in uh, Santan Valley, so a little bit farther down, but... I need to see the official spring training schedule, though, just to go. I'll just come tell my wife, we'll just go for, we'll just fly out there for like two days. Just come back for work or something. Yeah, I definitely plan to go a lot more during the summertime. Enjoy those those hot AZ pool days. Sipping on some drinks. Oh, that's right, Tim. I think I either you told me or I seen you talk to Joe about that, right? Yeah, yeah, you were coming out here. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's not too far. It's not too far. I remember correctly, they were building that extension, right? They were, weren't they extending the 202 a little bit to like go into Queen Creek? So that should definitely help eventually in the next few years. All right, what's what's moving, guys? Something's selling out. I got like eight spot. Eight. Something sold out, right? Got three left there. got a cruise nice where, 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 where. oh you where, where are you catching the cruise at here in long beach san diego did you guys did you guys see that massive cruise line oh, is that the one you're going on tim don't tell me that but that massive i don't even know where it's at though actually but uh the hugest like cruise like in the world now it's like 18 floors and it's like literally the craziest thing like you, I don't even think you feel like you're on a cruise, honestly. Ooh, Long Beach to Cabo, that's awesome. I live in Long Beach, Tim. I live, I live in downtown Long Beach. Probably like a mile away from uh, from where you're probably gonna catch your your cruise, actually. Alright guys, last box. Uh, Morrison to 35. Hey, <laughs> you going to the smallest one? Jazzy J, I wasn't ignoring. What'd you say? Sorry. Where's the other? We'll be giving those deals. On the, who, who are you talking about, bro? Who the hell be doing deals under the table? Kai Jones. Kevin Durant. How about those Nets? Yesterday, just dominating the 76ers. Luka Garza, rookie yearbook. Detroit Pistons, that's going to Wesley. Spellbound. 99, John Morant. Another Davion Mitchell. Damn, don't look, Oliver. Jesus Christ, this is like the second one. Carmelo. 
Lulu. Daniel Gafford. And there you go. Alrighty guys, well there you go. Uh, remember, all these would be top loaded as well. Obviously the main hits are top loaded autograph wise. Uh, remember, Washington Bullets go to the Washington Wizards. Um, nice little four box break for sure. I still think potentially there's going to be some better rookie autographs hiding in this case. Uh, more color of course too, but uh, like I said, get your spots in the next one. I'll post it up at number two. That'll be another promo break as well. So. Let's switch scenes. And again, remember, this is one promo break. So if you do win a spot, I'm going to put you here on this list. And uh, like I said, everybody gets a chance to win. So we're going to copy and paste the names that bought in. Uh, let's roll the dice. We've got a five and a six 11 times. So number one gets that promo spot. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it wasn't eleven. Boom, eleven times. And Matthew P, congratulations, man. So I'll put you in this list here. And this was, uh, let's put it in here really quick. This was a four box elite NBA QIT number one. So there you go, guys. Remember, we have to do at least 32 of these to sell out the promo, so another one will be posted. I don't think, has Nick reposted it? No. I'll post it up right now, guys. Get your teams, jazbeescasebreaks.com.